What's up guys? Welcome back again for another trucking vlog and we are in Dalhart, Texas and we're going to be picking up some nuts here at Tyson and we're, I'm just kidding. So we're doing a uh, riding with Dave style today. You better believe it. We have this beautiful Volvo VNL 760 today uh, in online transport colors, just like riding with Dave would do. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on down the line. I'll fire this thing up so you can listen to the engine in this. All right, let's push our parking brake in. We will go ahead and turn our four ways on and put this thing into drive. Let's go pick up. It's right around the corner here on the left hand side. We're taking these nuts down to Austin, Texas today. A big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video and the America Truck Simulator series with the uh, Thrustmaster T818 today we're rolling with there. That is the direct drive wheelbase and I am in love. I'm absolutely loving this thing. We're picking up right there. You can see the white lines. Perfect. Let's come around the corner here, no problem. Ooh, plenty of room in this uh, lot. I must say. All right, cool. And then we're just gonna go ahead and roll over this way. And then to the right, and then the left. And we should have a good setup here for this drive and trailer. And I think you can go all the way out here onto this dirt. It looks like they give you plenty of room. That's actually really, really cool. That's a good setup right there, perfect. Put this thing into reverse. And, yep. Kind of hard to see lines on the dirt, you know? Kind of, sort of, is the case. Um, so, we're, yeah, we're using the T18, and then we've got the TLCM pedals down there, TH8H uh, shifter. Big thanks to ATSaccessories.com for providing the custom shifter knob and everything you see here. It's very, very cool to have that in the Patriot XL. Everything I use is always linked in the description below if you want to check it out. All right, we missed that one dearly. Holy moly, I thought it was the next... <laughs> I thought it was the next one over, but nope. We didn't even come close to that, dude. Look at how bad that one was. I thought we were in the other dock, but we are not. So let's go ahead. Let's, you know what we can do. We just pull our trailer all the way over this way. And then to the right. And then left again. This should set us up a little bit better this time around. But yeah, everything is linked in the description as always. And then I get questions all the time of how I look around freely. That is Track IR version five. I still have the unit from 2012. That's how old it is. But uh, Track IR is a must have for American Truck Simulator if you want to look around freely and not run into anything, you know what I mean? And that's what we got going on here. So this uh, Volvo VNL 760. There's the 760, there's the uh, 880, I think the Globetrotter as well in this package, but it's by Gallimim. You can get it on the Steam Workshop, actually. Okay, we're a little too to the right, I think. But they're happy with it, and we are too. We're not going to mess with it. We're just in a dirt lot, you know, so who cares? Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to load this thing up and do a pre-trip. Let's get out of here. They are loading the cargo here this morning all the way to 11 a.m. Cargo has been loaded. Starting at the front of the truck, we can see we have all of the lights that are working perfect and fine. They aren't cracked or broken, so everything in the front looks good. Rolling around to the side, we can see we have plenty of tread on our tires here. Everything on the side, side marker lights are work, not cracked or broken. We did our job and we hooked up all the airlines, so those are all good to go. The tread down here looks good to me. That's uh, plenty for the trip. And looking underneath here in the fifth wheel, it is locked. The landing gear are up and stowed and all of the side lights are working fine. Nothing's cracked or broken. And at the rear of the trailer, we can see everything back here is where it should be. Tandems are slid where they should be. The lights are not cracked or broken. They're all working fine. And looking up here, the trailer lights on the top aren't cracked or broken. They are fine as well. Coming around the back right side of the trailer here, everything looks good. Nothing's cracked or broken. All the lights are working fine. We have good tread for the trip. I'm happy with that. 
and the tandems are locked in position. Double checking that the landing gear on this side are up and stowed. Everything's fine here. And the back of the truck, we see we have lighting back here. Nothing's cracked or broken. It's working as it should. And the side marker lights are working fine. And the blinkers, everything's good. Nothing is cracked or broken. Pre-trip is complete. All right, let's get out of here. Push that in. Put this thing into drive. I know, sad panda today. We are not uh, going to be doing, making sure we have the trailer with us. Of course we do. Um, we're not going to be utilizing uh, the shifter today with like an 18 speed, but um, before you, uh, you do complain about that, it's all right. You know, once in a while we do drive automatic trucks and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just part of the trucking industry these days. And I know having a big elaborate setup like this, you want to use your shifter as much as possible, but we do that all the time. So sometimes we're just going to do this. So this is uh, Riding with Dave's new ride. Somebody painted it up and uh, it looks really, really good. I'm going to roll these windows up. So if you don't know who Riding with Dave is, you should check out his YouTube channel. He's a YouTuber uh, truck vlog uh, channel. And uh, he used to work with CFI, and now he's working with uh, Online Transport. Dave's a good buddy of mine. Um, I haven't met him in person, but uh, we've talked uh, in, in DMs and everything else for a long time now. So uh, one day I'll get to meet him. But until then, we get to uh, live vicariously through American Truck Simulator. Uh, left turn out of here, and we're going to get on the open road. We are, we are. Yep, no cars are coming from that way or that way, of course. We're good. Awesome. Pull on out of here. So how many y'all are going to Flight Sim Expo? It's coming up soon, man, in June. We had Flight Sim Expo in Houston. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. A lot, a lot of fun. Let's give ourselves plenty of room here getting out. Making a right turn. There's a big truck coming. Good on him, though. And our trailer's fine. Let's give it the business. Come on. Get up to speed, man. I love the uh, the blinker lights in the mirrors on the Volvos. Very nice looking. So we have railroad crossing up here. And then we make another right turn. Get ready to turn right. So this is kind of a strange one. You want to make the right turn, but... You also don't want your trailer stuck on the tracks, and if you go up to the stop sign, that will be the case. So we need to make sure that car is gone, and we are going to be able to, to kind of roll up to it and get going so we don't get stuck, you know, at the tracks. I don't see any trains coming, so we're good. Cross over there, and we're going to keep this thing rolling. Kind of like this. Come on, truck. You're good. Yep. I'm happy with that. Let's go. No more messing around, right? On the open road. Good to be back in America Truck Sim as always. I've been doing a lot of flight simming lately. Been putting a lot of hours into the training for World Flight. We're doing World Flight in uh, November. But I'm going out there to uh, Ontario, California in uh, July, doing some training with Siv Ryan and with Paul on the 737 sim. Uh, getting them in shape for world flight but i've been flying on vatsim a lot lately and having a blast doing that it's been my main thing there's a, see there's a train right there could have been bad you know that could have been bad in that particular situation you hear the uh, engine brake in this volvo very quiet but it gets the job done there's another Tyson over here. Went to the other one. City of Dalhart. Going places with the RAV4 by Toyota. Okay, I think we're just going to stay in this lane for now. It looks like we have to get in the left lane eventually. So after this blue car, we're getting over to the left, buddy. You better believe it. Uh, and I chose to go with... Um, there is a online transport... Uh, texture pack out there on, on the workshop Keep left. and, and uh, left. it works for the default trailer and all that stuff but uh, I chose to go with this one uh, as an homage to uh, homage whatever you want to say 
to Dave when he did not want to uh, give up the good trailer. So this is based on that trailer. Because, you know, they made him made him drop it and he was in love with that trailer during that time. So, uh, yeah, I haven't seen the online transport one with the big lettering on the side of the uh, the trailer so far when, uh, you know, whenever he's dropping them. They're usually the ones that have the small logo on the back. But regardless, I'm really loving this uh, VNL mod. This thing is really, really good. And it's free, so you can't complain, you know? Well, people will try to complain, but there's no reason to. That's what I'm saying. All right. Make this left here. Someday today, maybe. Kind of, sort of. All right. So, as far as NASCAR goes, we always talk about NASCAR here in American Truck Simulator. Why wouldn't we? Um, I can say, you know what? We're going to just get over in this lane. We're good. Plenty of room there. Yep. Um, I can say I did not watch the Bristol Dirt Race. I just watched the highlights afterwards. Um, and I didn't watch the Martinsville Race. It's been really hard to watch those races and we've talked about it because of the, um, you know, the the commercials are insane this year. It just seems like it's gotten worse, but maybe it hasn't. But I don't know. It's also been kind of hard to, uh, you know, kind of follow along the schedule this year because of the, uh, the racing has kind of been, eh. I mean, there's been some good races this year so far, but... Not enough to where I'm, like, looking forward to the next weekend, you know? So hopefully they figure something out with that Gen uh, 7 car. We definitely need it. All right, 75 through here, so we bring this thing up through its gear and get it to 75 eventually. I've got her floored right now. Those big old Texas flags up there, right? Lane ends. Of course it does. Of course it does. I'm going to get over right after this big utility truck here. Don't mind me. And we got a combine in the middle of the dang road. Are you kidding me? Going like two miles an hour. Unbelievable. Only in Texas, right? Only in Texas. <laughs> Look at this guy. Unbelievable. And his John Deere Harvester just taking up the entire road, man. That's pretty amazing. Uh, I know in Dave's truck, he has the uh, GPS pop-up thing there. Uh, this particular model didn't have a lot of options with that, and I couldn't even put my phone on the left side where I usually would put it. But that's okay. You know, you can't, can't complain when you have a truck of this caliber. And we do have a CB in this one, too. Right there. It's on channel 19. All right, we're getting in the right lane here, and I'm hoping we're going to be able to get around this guy. He's... What a jerk. He's going to be in the left lane in that thing. In a 60-mile-an-hour zone, dude, doing 30 miles an hour. That's just... That ain't it. That ain't it, chief. There he goes. All right. Well... Now I think I've seen most of it in American Truck Simulator. <laughs> yeah, man, this has been running super smooth with the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, and I will have that linked in the description below. You just go to the forum, uh, and then you need to download download the latest and greatest version of NVIDIA Profile Inspector, um, but then follow along every step. I know it's long and tedious, but you have to do every single step. You have to use that... Uh, multi-monitor configuration file you put into your documents, uh, American Truck Simulator, uh, and then and your then right. your main uh, directory there, where that would be. So you do have to follow the directions very closely, but it is worth it. Turn Absolutely right. worth it. We'll turn right. We know. We know. So we're making it right on 287. I'm trying to see how they're routing us out of here, because... I think this is the last time we have to make this turn, or, or last time we go south, because we're going to Austin, you know? Going to Austin, here on Dumas. Remember that commercial? Dumbass. Yeah, okay, Mr. Dumbass. <laughs> it's like, it's Dumas. Oh, man. 
McDonald's right there. Check it out. This time before I recorded, I so ate. Great. I had uh, McDonald's breakfast. Had a large Coca-Cola. Man, their uh, their soda is just on a different different level, man. It really is. Harry Stain Bank. Look at that. Uh, it's on a different level. So I got Coke and then uh, a couple Egg McMuffins. That was perfect. That's what I needed. I have my coffee with me this morning, too. Uh, yep, Dumas, goodbye. And we'll make Amarillo. We will. It's only 26 miles. And there's that big old Texas flag flying in the air. Beautiful. And Microsoft Flight Simulator, I'm very excited for the ATR that's coming out. And also the Shorts S360. That's going to be really, really cool. We got the Canadian River. It's pretty muddy for being the Canadian River, right? All right, 75. We'll be able to do that, I think. Slow down. You're already in Texas. Yeah, we know. We've gotten that joke before, right? It's supposed to rain today on this trip. Uh, I had probability set at 50% since we haven't dealt with rain in a while. It's like, you know what? We'll just uh, see what it what it uh, becomes. Give it to the hands of uh, of the America Truck Sim gods. Keep left. We'll keep left, and we're going to come down to 60 miles an hour. We already, we already did that there. Let's get that engine brake on. Slow down here. It's a British Airways ad on the right there. Yeah, this thing sounds great. Okay, 35 through here, and everybody was slowing up. I guess we're just kind of cutting through all the the side streets here today. I thought we were going to have a lot more highway time, but that is just not the case. BP, diesel open 24-7, five miles on the left. Or meters. It's miles. It's got to be miles. Thanks a lot, BP. Watching uh, The Office again for like the seven millionth time. It's been a lot of fun to go through that show again. That and uh, Parks and Rec and... Uh, we were watching something else. Forget what it was. Oh, one thing I d ended up doing is uh, I got, uh, well, we ended up getting a projector. We got a home cinema, I think 3800 by Epson. So we got a projector, and, um, and it all kind of started off like, hey, you know, it'd be cool to get a, a projector with like a 100-inch pop-up you know, screen um, and kind of have a place to watch movies in our basement in, the, in this house. And... Uh, I got kind of down the rabbit hole and I ended up getting a Klipsch audio uh, system with the Ankyo receiver. And I'm in absolute love. Dolby Atmos, baby. You better believe it. So that's been a new uh, passion project. And then we have drop ceiling down there. If you don't know what drop ceiling is, it's this terrible like styrofoamy looking ceiling that you can pop up and down on these metal, you know, squares or rectangles. Um, so older homes have them in it, but I ran all the speaker wire. I ran all the different wires. And I, what I ended up doing was just got a uh, HDMI cable, a 50 footer uh, that was really high speed, you know, that was built for doing that with a projector uh, and then ran that through the drop ceiling for that. So it goes from the AV receiver up and over into the projector itself. So that's been really cool. Been enjoying that. We've been watching some movies down there. Uh, but it's the Klipsch Audio System 5.1.2. It's not a, a 5.1.7. Oh, I love those Ford trucks so much, man. Get the brakes. God, these guys are slamming brakes today, aren't we? We sure are. Let's roll our windows down here. Doing a lot of city driving today, man. I thought we were going to, you know, just be on the highway. But it looks like that's the case here. They just kind of force you to go through downtown Amarillo. And that's what we exactly what we got going on here. 
Trimac. I don't think I've seen that on that company before in this game. Center City. Well, goodbye, Center City. It was fun. Oh, that's a beautiful, uh, looks like a cathedral over there. Behind that building with the, or, you know, those green roofed buildings. You see it sticking out. That's a FedEx commercial there for... For sure. All right, want the right lane here? Yep, right lane, turn right. We're good. Towards Albuquerque. Gotta go towards Albuquerque. Nope, we gotta go towards Oklahoma City, Fort Worth. My bad. Gotta get over to the left. Had a couple of hiccups there, but nothing like we used to have, you know? Oh, and here comes the rain. Here comes the rain. We knew it was coming. We knew the rain was coming. So now we can get the wipers on. And they are doing their job. Yeah, we already got rain spray coming up. Look at that. Wonderful. Yeah, one thing with the NVIDIA profile in, uh, inspector is that uh, it really made a difference on how these PBR roads look. From Project Next Gen. They look great. Uh, yep, there's another uh, skip and a dive. I mean, you can't fix everything, you know? And honestly, it might be time for me to upgrade this uh, video card on here because this is the 2080 Super from my old setup. So it may need a little bit more. Um, another thing people said that you can do to prevent that from happening is to jump the, um, the uh, you know, whatever you call it in, in the task manager. I forget what they call it. High affinity, all that nonsense. Um, yeah, you can do that, jump that up, and then that should fix the problem. But to me, I don't know. I really don't know anymore. It's kind of hard to say. I don't want to get it unstable where it's crashing on us and stuff. But this is uh, a problem with, for everybody in Texas. So it's just kind of unfortunate. Oh, man, right. yeah. And then right. But you saw in the very beginning... It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. And then we come into these big cities in Texas, and then uh, we start getting uh, the skips. But I think the game looks better. It's been performing better. I must say. My God, these dudes in these Mustangs are flying down the road in the uh, in the rain. I guess it's 75 here now. Children's 98, Wichita Falls. We are on our way, everybody. Finally. I love the spray from the cars. That looks nice. These are all cotton fields out here. It looks awesome. I like it. Okay, slow up here. Oh, that truck's coming. Left side. Everybody's like, you know what? Even though it's raining, they're going to do 75. Oh, well, we got gators on the road. It's alligators. Man, I saw the, uh, the map that was, uh, was shown because you know how GTA 6 was leaked. Well... Um, but when it was leaked, it in the corner, it showed what the coordinates were, where it was, you know? Drive a little bit better here while I'm trying to move my hands around. <laughs> um, it showed the coordinates of everything, so everybody was able to put that together, and they can figure out where things are located on the map and how big the map is going to be. Um, and uh, if you just search it, it's pretty impressive looking, I must say. And this is a group of people that, you know, figured out the GTA 5 map before it was released. Look at that train there on the left going, going, going our speed. That's cool. Very cool. Landstar kicking up some uh, spray. Rest area one mile. We're not stopping any rest areas today. We're just going to drive straight through. That's what we're going to do. 
That worked for you. It works for me. Got the next level racing uh, GT Elite cockpit here and the Motion Platform V3 going today. I have seen those uh, DOF uh, motion platforms that are out there and they look pretty good. Kind of a pain in the butt to, to build and install, but they look pretty darn good, I must say. Are our lights on? They should be. Yeah, they're on. I thought they were. I thought I had them on because it was raining. A little dodge dart there. Watch our uh, distance here from him. Because this, yeah, you see how that is? It's too real. Another alligator on the right. Uh, it's too real. They get in front of you and slam the brakes. Oh, look at that Trans Am. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Love seeing those classic cars. Jazzy Cat mods for all those. Thought we were going to be on a different interstate. I'm, I'm trying to rack my brain where they're taking us on this journey. Because it seems like we're going through some small towns again. Okay, this is a bridge, so no. Prairie Dog Town. Man, it was so cool. It was in uh, South Dakota when I was uh, on my on way, my way out to Montana when I was younger. But uh, out there in South Dakota, they had a prairie dog farm. And they were really cool. They're funny little guys. But whenever we were on our actual property in uh, Montana, we had prairie dogs all over the place. On the property itself. It was really cool. Another train. Is it the same train? Nope, that's a different one. Oh, we have a station up here. Are we going to have to pull in for it? Let's see. Let's see what they say. Uh-oh. I don't even know what that means. I'm pretty sure it's bad. Gotta love hitting the wrong button, dude. Yeah, we have to come in here. Gotta love hitting the F4 instead of the F3 key like a dummy. Yep, there's a trooper right there, too, man. You blow through this, oh, they would not be happy about that. They would not be a happy camper. All right, in the right lane we go. Let's say hello to them. Tell them we love them, and we'll be on our way. All right, dude. Let's come to a stop here. We don't need to pull the parking brake or anything like that. To pass the inspection, press enter. 72,000 pounds, thank you for your cooperation. You got it, no problem at all. It's always a pleasure. Take care of yourselves. And a Freightliner Sentry behind us, it looks like it, doesn't it? Sure does. Let me get a screenshot, I will be right back. All right, let's get back on the road, shall we? Got our screenshot getting out of there, look cool. No cars coming. We're fine. And we have some skips happening. All right. We might have a little bit of night driving here on this one, too. I'm not sure because I was expecting to be on a little bit more of some bigger interstates than all of this. I'm going to get in the left lane here and kind of bypass all this traffic. It's a lot of trucks in the right lane there. We're using a G traffic setting of two. So we have more traffic than, uh, you know, just the default because the default is always just dead. The roads are always dead on it. So I decided to jump it up a little bit and we'll go straight. Hey, look at that. We caught back up to the Trans Am. There's a Tesla spot right there and a Denny's on the left. I know it'll break people's heart. I am not a Denny's fan. At all. At all. Childress, Texas. We enjoyed hanging out with you. We're getting out of here. If you live in Childress, Texas or nearby, let me know how accurate that looked. 
I know it's pretty impressive what uh, SES has been able to do with American Truck Sim as far as capturing the feel of these areas. It's not always, it's not accurate, but captures the feel and it has a lot of landmarks, you know, that's all you need for uh, that to work out. Look at that, there's that train again. Or right, it's a different one. Looks like it. Yep, the rain rolled in a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. Thought we were going to get a little bit more sunny skies, but... Again, you know, it's 50% chance of rain, so it's possible that it might move out before we get where we're going. As well. And I like it. Something about rain in this uh, game that's very calming. Besides whenever the, you know, four-wheelers like to slam the brakes on in front of you when it's pouring rain. I've been enjoying doing my uh, edited, edited uh, down versions of the OCRP streams. Seems to work out pretty good. The thing is, if you go in and, uh, you know, record, um, I'll be in there for, I can be in there for like two to three hours sometimes if I'm recording. And what can happen is, you know, I was getting those freezes that were happening all the time. Uh, that would cause issues. It would, you know, it would desync the audio versus the video or even corrupt some of the video. And I've lost stuff from, you know, from it. So with the streams, I can just download the VOD directly out of Twitch and then I can import it into my editor and then I can just uh, edit it down and I've had no issues with that. And honestly, the, the quality is just maybe a skosh less than if I was recording it. Because I record everything as maximum as possible, but you know, YouTube's gonna compress the heck out of it. But I appreciate all the love and support on that series. I've been having a lot of fun with that. But I knew it had been a minute since we'd been in America Truck Sim. We did the uh, we did the Roller Mod 389 last time, and we will revisit that one for sure. But uh, when I saw this paint on the Steam Workshop, I had to do it. Had to do it. And be sure to check out Riding with Dave if you haven't watched it before. Very entertaining dude to watch drive a truck and live his life. All right, looks like this rain is rolling out and the sun is going down. My side of town. So we're at uh, 442 on a trip. I don't know how long of a trip this is gonna be. Holy moly, that was a, that was a big one right there, folks. That was a big one. But we're good. Those satellite dishes. I love the attention to detail, man. You see the most random things on the side of the road in Texas. Nope, somebody broke their trailer in half. That's not good. That's lost my job today right there. That's what it looks like. Pioneer. Welcome to Pioneer, everybody. See 75 through here, but we have just not been making good time at all due to the weather and the traffic. We're in Wichita Falls, okay. We need to get to, we need to make Austin by nightfall. I don't know if that's going to happen, probably not, but I will get in the left lane and try to make it happen after this. We'll see what we do. We have to exit up here. We are definitely going to be exiting, but I believe to the right. Keep right. Yep. Because that is exactly the case. Stuff Falls in Fort Worth on 44, baby. Living in St. Louis. Boy, the weather's been insane the last couple of days. We had those. Uh, we had that severe weather event come through. And we had a radar indicated tornado that was just north of like Valley Park and Fenton area uh, in St. Louis at 44. 
And uh, what's crazy is I watched it back on uh, Reed Timmer's uh, live stream. And it was so crazy to see him chasing the storm right there in St. Louis. I was out of dinner when that happened. And I was like, holy moly, that, that looks like a tornado. And he was like, yeah, looks, he, he was saying the same thing on his stream. But it was, they were brief tornadoes or quasi linear system that moved through. Oh, look at that. We got some lightning. So maybe this rain is going to stick around. We're just talking about, you know, severe weather. And here we are getting a storm on our way. Yeah, I mean, like, we're getting some skips here and there, but honestly, this is so much better than it was. Way better than what it was. It used to, like, be brought to its knees when we would come through these towns in Texas. But I was like, you know what? I really do think a lot of it has to do with whenever I'm recording uh, using Shadowplay. Um, I think that might have something to do with it because I was driving a lot before... I started recording and it was not skipping like this, so that is possible. Uh, I did jump my recording quality up significantly on the files. Maybe that's causing some issues, so I can you know try to dial it back, give the GPU some more room to breathe when it comes to what it's got to do. All right, heck of a storm rolling through. I love those mirrors, the uh, nose mirrors. Guy just sitting on the side of the road with his door open, it looked like. That was weird. He just sitting there. Strange. Yep, south towards Fort Worth. That's what we want. Let's go to Austin, Texas. In the rain. Also, thank you guys for uh, enjoying the landing. Uh, reaction video had a lot of fun with that and if you guys want to submit your uh, your landings you can do so by going to my subreddit page it's the uh, J Fabiano reddit page and you can submit it right there an access road just called access road that'd be funny if the actual name of that is access road I mean, it, it is an access road, but that's just what it's called. That'd be pretty cool. Picnic area one mile. No restrooms. Sorry. Sorry about you. They are not uh, not not concerned about your well-being on the side of the road. What's that? Oh, that's a stump. Yeah, there's a rest area right there. A picnic area. Yeah, this lightning is kind of frequent, kind of random at the same time. And it looks like it's like, must be like right underneath the storm. And that would be really cool, you know, eventually uh, when SES rolls in dynamic weather into their engine. Having that, that would be a game changer to see like a, you know, a storm system in the distance rolling in. And you can just anticipate it's going to be slamming you with wind and rain. That's something that's missing from the game is wind. Um, you know, we see wind like on the flags and stuff, but you know, in real life, that wind hitting your trailer, you would feel it. So that'd be pretty neat to have like actual wind bouncing us around. Forever 21. What town is that? We into Austin already? No way. No way, that's Austin. It might be. See, I'm not very familiar with the road system in Texas. It's possible. I'm not even hearing the thunder. I'm just seeing the lightning flashes. slow down here because we're going Basswood Boulevard to 35 West. Okay. 
This is an exit only, so we need to get over in the left lane. Left. It's gonna stick right here for right now. Man, there's like no traffic on the roads at all right now. Very strange. Very weird. Lightning just flashing every once in a while. I'm going to get over again. All right, car, I see you. Can I get over or no? Just don't want to do it. Don't want to help me out? Nope. Cool. Appreciate it. What a jerk. What a jerk. Oh, there's the lights. Kicking on now. So we are going to be driving in the night a little bit, it looks like. That's okay. Is that a Jeep Cherokee that passed us? I don't think so. I didn't get to see it. Maybe you're like your eye like itching or something and then you go to like wipe it away or you know take care of it and then the oil's on your hand or something like gets in there and burns it. It's like thanks. That's what I'm dealing right now in my right eye. So that's a lot of fun. Yeah, these skips are just... I, th I, th I don't think it's anything other than these big cities, man. Every time you drive in the big cities is when it, when it happens. But it's probably time to upgrade the uh, graphics card on this thing. What I might end up doing is get a 40 series card. For the flight simulator. And then I could just swap out that... 3080 Ti I have for the flight sim one into here and that would make sense because you know you need a lot of process or you know a lot of GPU for flight simulator Dallas and Stephenville so another night drop for us it looks like folks you better believe it Fine on fuel. Cannot complain. 75 through here. Finally made some decent time now. Keep left. Yeah, we're going to stay in the left lane. It's not like I was hanging out in the right one. They're so demanding, the GPSs. So, so very demanding. Is my lights not on or something? They were not on. There's the secondary lights on, not the not the main ones. I was like, what the heck's going on here? I can't see anything. <laughs> well, now we know why. It's going to be a long drive today. But I don't mind. I like to do some uh, day and night driving. A little bit of both today on this trip. But it's, 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 you know, I started this whole thing at, it was 8 a.m. in the game. 8 o'clock in the morning, I drove it over to Tyson and got it ready in position. Repositioned it. And then we got in there, and then the loading took like two, three hours. That was like two hours. So loading was like two two hours and then by then you're on the road and then you're in the evening time and then it's raining and it's nighttime. That's exactly what happened. Why are you going this slow in a 75, dude? Holy moly. That is just too realistic sometimes. Right, after this car, let's hit it. Oh, this truck's coming. Don't mind me just getting over here. Tell him thank you. Yeah, ABF Freight. Taking your time doing 30 miles an hour in a 75 zone, dude. 
That was not cool. Not cool at all. You know, one thing I can say, it's an interesting looking building, is that um, the uh, windshield wiper on this thing, the wipers are pretty quiet. They aren't clunking back and forth. I like that. Texas Roadhouse, hell yeah. Love that place. Cinnamon butter. Make these. We're in Waco. That's the Waco Stadium there on the left. Got an Amazon. Oh, it's an Am. It's just a uh, an ad for Amazon. Like they need another. Ad like they need an advertisement. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse every time we talk about it, but man, when are they going to have a box service for Amazon, you know? Recycling once a, you know, once a week, Amazon provide the actual bins. You just chuck your boxes into the bins or you break them down, throw them in the bins. I mean, it's become such a wild problem in, in all households, you know? Everywhere. Everybody's using Amazon, you know, and they just don't care about the amount of trash they are creating. It's just strange to me. When I was living in Florida, we had, you know, two uh, recy or rice recycling and then two, you know, we had recycling and trash, but it was twice a week. Here, it's only once a week. pretty crazy but the box trash is the real problem yeah I feel like we're just on the road by ourselves right now it's because we are <laughs> I wish you could turn that light off over there but I'm not gonna move my whole my whole setup around here just so we can turn that light off in the corner We'll just live with it. Let's get my coffee down here. Let's see if we can pull this off without hitting a car. And okay, we keep left. And it's a transit van. There we go. We got our coffee. sure I didn't spill that <laughs> it's like looking down I'm like don't spill it don't hit the wrong thing that would not be good dude it's another rest area they're all lit up it's interesting looking it's cool holy moly dude turn our brights on I can't see anything out here I think the rain is dissipating a little bit, slowing down at least. Keep left. Armor Lane. Yeah, we're going out, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just dead on the roads. You with G traffic too. NCS has got to work on that. That's just kind of crazy that we you, you can go this long without seeing a single car. I mean, I know it's at nighttime, but it's late. But that doesn't matter. It's just we should still see more cars on the road. So AI traffic needs a little bit of work for sure. Let's slow down here. It's 60 through here. So I'm going to get around these guys because they're going slower. And then S60. It's an old school explorer there. It's 
Cesar Chavez Street. It's up Western. Keep left. And just like me out here on the on the open road with nobody around us for miles. We only saw cars when we got into the city limits there. Outside of that, not really. In this lane here. Aha, the Grange. Every time I see it, we gotta be like, ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Every time. All right, right lane maybe, what's saying? Slowing down. Guessing it's this exit here, not keep Woodward right. Street. And then exit right. Yep. Keep left and exit right. It's this one right here. Okay. Exit right. So we have this exit, and then this wraps around and takes us to Austin, I think. I think it's the last Woodward. road. Last big road we have is right here. And look at that. We'll put our wipers away here. Because it stopped raining. Got out of the rain finally. Took us long enough. Yeah, look at this. Nobody on the roads. Look at that one car. Let's see, one that's in the right lane. Let's do it. This is right lane ends. Make up your mind, game. I, what do you want from us? Let's stay in this lane. That's not right at all. On the highway. And then exit right. Exit right, okay. So stay right here. Montop Montopolis Drive is where we're going. Okay. Let's roll our windows down here. Coming into town. Keep right and turn right. There's subway. If you go to subway, you got to get the Italian herbs and cheese. I haven't had a uh, subway in forever though. I don't, I don't ever go to subway. Holy moly, man. Yeah, I'm ready for the new game engine. <laughs> I really am. Um, we need it bad. This thing is so out of date. Everybody's doing everything you can to it. And these skips and stutters just drive me crazy, man. All right, left turn here. We go into a residence or something. The hell are we going? Turner. Oh, we're here. So we're in Austin. Okay, turn right here. Ooh, what? We're going up or up and around to make the left turn. I guess this is a industrial complex here. Yep, this is where we're going. We gotta do better on this back than we did last time. Okay, it is going right here on the left. Right between the forklift and that truck. That's what it looks like to me. Oh yeah, they had to park this truck right there to screw us, dude. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Y'all are nuts. You're nutty. You know that? You're nutty. Let's go this way. This way. Give ourselves plenty of room here. Set our trailer up where it needs to go. We're going to have to get out and look a few times so we don't hit this stupid forklift. That's obnoxious. Like, I'm all for a challenge, you know, but it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous.
Yeah, and I can't see that far back there either. So, already on our first one. Get out and look. You see how obnoxious this forklift right here is, and there's the door. And we're pretty much on the money on bringing it back. I think we just got to keep following it back, and we're going to be all right. All right. Cut it a little harder. Right, right there. There we go. Get underneath it a little bit. And on back it goes. Okay, I don't see the back of the trailer yet. It'll be right up next to the stupid curb. Yeah, there it is right there. So it's a little harsh. So I'm gonna go left and give myself some more room here, actually. There we go. All right, another goal this time. I think this one, we cut it, we'll be able to see it in the mirror a little bit better. So this is, this is looking okay. Let's follow it back a little bit more this time so we don't get it next to that stupid curb. There we go. We're coming back. This is a fun one, man. All over this stupid forklift and truck. They put, have parked here. Yeah, I can't see anything back there yet. So that's where it's at right now. And it looks like we just cut it harder. We're going to slip right past it and not hit that forklift. But we have to get out a few more times and check and make sure we don't. Okay, brakes. And we're already losing air because why wouldn't we be losing air? There we go. Let it come back. Come on. Okay, let's get out and look again. We're pretty much in there. I'm just going to go ahead and just follow it back, and I think we're going to be okay, honestly. That's what it looks like. It's close right here, though. I mean, we could easily hit this thing. We don't keep an eye on it, but, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do it a little harder there and then slide it right into the lines. All right, we're running the air up a little bit more there. And let's follow this trailer back. We should be okay now. Come on. Can't see over there. A little more. Okay. Let's get out and look one more time. This is what I was worried about was hitting that, but I think we're going to be just fine on this side. And look at that from there. We're, we're okay. So we're just going to keep on cutting it hard, and then uh, we should be fine. All right. So cut a little harder than this. About right there. And then bring the whole truck back with us. Should be good there. For our secondary lights on. Yeah, we're going to be low on air again. Gotta love it. Okay, we're away from that stupid... What you call it? Let's just go to the left a little bit here. Straighten the trailer out now. Just like that. There we go. Yeah, we know we're low on air. Shut up. Very annoying. There we go. Now we're looking pretty good. Let that come back a little bit more. There we go. And I'm back. From there, straighten it out, dude. That's it. Oh, man, no. I just, I'm not getting a good angle from our viewpoint here in this camera. That's... Stupid, stupid forklift there. All right, there we go. Oh, we nailed it. Okay. I mean, see, it looks straight on the right, but it looks cockeyed on the left. Uh, let's bring it more to the right. Now we know we're low on air. My lord. There we go. See, it looks good on that side and that side now. So we, we were not good on the door. And I think we're going to be able to bump the dock here. We're going to try. Certainly going to try. There we go. Straight back. All right. Nice and easy. Slam the door here. And we've got to run our stupid brakes up again. Finally, it went away. My lord. I don't know how y'all put up with that stuff, man. That would drive me crazy. It's doing it again. God. <laughs> It had just gone away and it's doing it again. 
Whatever. Just bump the dock. There we are. We're in the dock now. Just shut up. I'm gonna run those. I'm just gonna go ahead and recharge uh, them anyway. This is just a nightmare. All right, we made it here. Let's kill our four ways. Engine is off. Very cool. What a long trip that was that we made. Uh, good to be back in Texas. Probably going to go somewhere different, though, because it's still uh, a little choppy when it comes to everything. Let's see what we got here. We got a excellent 639 miles, 15 hours, 6 minutes, 83.5 gallons of fuel consumed. There you have it, folks. That's going to do it for this episode of American Truck Simulator. Be sure to check out Riding with Dave and show him some support and love. I will see you guys next time. Take care.